Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and how the body uses proteins. Proteins are made up of hundreds or thousands of smaller units called amino acids, which are attached to one another in long chains. Proteins are put together at ribosomes from a blueprint stored in DNA and more specifically from sections of the DNA called genes. There are 20 different types of amino acids that can be combined to make a protein. The order of amino acids determine each protein's unique shape and its specific function or job. Let's take a look at five important functions of proteins. Messenger protein. Hormones are an example of messenger proteins. These proteins are secreted by the endocrine glands and act as chemical messengers that transmit signals from one cell to another. An example of a hormonal protein is insulin, which is secreted by the pancreas to regulate levels of blood sugar. Adrenaline, which is secreted by the adrenal glands, especially in conditions of stress, increases rates of blood circulation, breathing, and is part of the fight or flight response. Enzymatic proteins help accelerate chemical reactions in your body. These include liver functions, stomach digestion, are just a couple examples. For example, digestive enzymes help break down food into simple forms that your body can easily absorb. Structural proteins are necessary components of your body. They include collagen, keratin, and elastin. Collagen forms the connective framework of your muscles, bones, and cartilage. And keratin is the main structural component in your hair, nails, and skin. Defensive proteins like antibiotics are large Y-shaped proteins used by the immune system to identify and attack harmful bacteria and viruses. Antibodies are formed in the white blood cells. They recognize a unique molecule of the pathogen called an antigen and then attack. Transport and storage proteins carry vital materials to the cells while others help with storage. Hemoglobin, for example, carries oxygen to the body tissues from the lungs. Calbindin is another protein that helps with the absorption and storage of calcium, and ferritin stores iron and releases it in a controlled fashion. So there we go, some examples of how proteins are used in the body. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.